So you're having trouble weight painting the groin area. Not a problem. This is probably one of the most difficult areas that new 3D character artists struggle to figure out. But today I'm gonna simplify it for you guys. Now obviously if you have a girlfriend or a wife or something to use as a reference in real life, you know, just be like, hey babe, can you just bend your legs for me? I need to see how your thighs are rigged. And then hopefully she'll laugh at you and oblige. But if that's not an option for you, I have collected the best references that I could find to help you out. Now the easiest way to simplify the task is to understand what part of the groin should not be moving. And you should figure this out for two different scenarios. The first is when the legs bend to the side for splits. The second is when the legs bend forward and backwards. Let's start with the sides. So if we watch the footage closely and pause the video around here, you can see that everything above this part of the pelvis pretty much never moves. All right, now let's compare that to what part of her pelvis moves when the legs are bending forward. And during this motion, you can see the angle is a little bit more extreme. But we can generalize it to be kind of around here. Now remember, a good animator always cross-references their findings. So if we look at some other examples for research purposes, we can see that again, the area where the pelvis almost never moves is somewhere around here. And finally, this is probably the clearest reference where you can visibly see where exactly on her body the pelvis ends and the thighs begin. So now that you have this information, we can see that in general, this is the part of her pelvis that should mostly never move. And what that means for us as 3D artists is we probably want topology lines that clearly mark this area. And that way we can easily just weight paint it primarily to her pelvis. Now personally I also try to make some topology lines around the direction where the thighs are bending forward as well and this usually follows the same sort of silhouette that you would see in most one-piece swimsuits or bikinis and essentially when you look at your topology after you've done all this you should have lines around these zones here and here. Once you do that the weight painting becomes way easier and way more natural because now you know that everything below these seams should primarily belong to the thighs. You're done.